I am the engineer who loves to share all things in everywhere at all time and with everyone. If you are a frequent traveler to Southeast Asia, Grab App is a must tool in your techies bag. Here in Bangkok and many parts of Thailand, it is the Uber. Grab App graphic user interface is designed from the West perspective. As a result, the navigation and menus are straightforward for anyone who travel from the West Hemisphere. However, if you don't speak the local language, ordering of foods and services can be a challenge. In this video, I will demonstrate the use of Translate, free to download from Google, combine it with Grab, and let's see if we can cook a Thai dinner today. Let's do it! See this one right here, it looks, it caught my eyes, but I can't read it, right? So I'm going to draw it down this time, okay? Now, I can't read it. They don't translate for you. It looks like it's pork, but I don't know what kind of pork. It's fried pork or what kind of pork is that? So get and take a picture of this. Again, I'm going to go through this one more time, okay? So bring up translating, okay? And then again, camera on, on your left there. And go down to import down here okay and pick the pictures that you just and when you picked it it will you see that it's it's a scan all the Thai word foreign word for you and now all you just highlight you use your finger see that <laughs> as you can see Without the translation, dinner can be a shocking surprise. Mm. 
let's let's look at the one that we order first called the papaya salad with crab and fermented okay see how it tastes okay I'm gonna see this is a crab you don't eat that uh, you don't eat that okay I'm gonna have some string beans I'm really bad at with chopsticks too okay okay so let's try that mmm my mmm That was wow. What do you think, mommy? Mm, good. Can you describe how it tastes? Spicy, sour, Spicy first. <laughs> sweet. I mean, it has everything in it. Okay. Spicy. Yeah, super spicy. Very spicy. Every people, I don't think they'd be able to eat it. Yeah. Very spicy. Very spicy. Okay. So the second thing we're gonna try is this right here. And it's called a grilled pork neck. It's this little bad boy over here. I actually saw this in uh, the uh, the Big C market, and I told my wife it looked tasty. I think it's similar to it. So yeah, let's try that. That's the reason. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Tasty. And it's, it's not, it's mild flavor mm -hmm. and it's sweet. It's not sweet, but it, it, it just the right amount of sweet. I hate sweet in, in food. I don't mind in dessert, but when it comes food, it's sweet. It just doesn't make sense to me. But this has got the right balance. Like soy uh, sauce pork. Soy sauce kind of pork. Yeah, soy sauce pork. There you go, mom. See? Sheesh, I need a help when it comes to the the... This they mystify this flavor. So what? Oh, this is what you, you do. Put this, you put a piece. Well, it, the cabbage come with it. And a piece of basil, pork. You roll it up, and you dip into a sauce. Yo, this sauce right here, it come with it. Okay, I'm not yeah. sure it's for that. Yeah, it come with that. Mmm. Mmm. This one, enhance it. This sauce right here. Give. Mm. I got to taste the sauce again and see what it tastes like. It went by so the fast. I know it has tamarind in it. Tamarind? Is it? <clears throat> oh, it's a sour. It has a... Uh... Oh, you know it has the stuff that you put in uh, sour soup. Mommy. This 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 fish boy, what you call it? That's what I taste. This thing you put in uh in, 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 in the Vietnamese sour soup? Yeah. What you call it? I will definitely put this. This one right here in, 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 in Vietnam, we actually put in our sour soup and it really, really give and hence the flavor of the soup. That's what I taste. Okay. So next is the uh I'm doing this again just to show you how to use this thing, okay? Grilled chicken thigh. So that's this guy right here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bite this on here and put it back on here. Okay, we have kind of flavor. The pork neck and this one have similar marinations. Okay, they marinate the same thing with soy sauce. But I still rank the pork tastes a little bit better than the chicken. I like the chicken. But the chicken is, of course, healthier than for you, right? Okay, so this is the the next thing we're gonna do is the I think the pork rib. No, we can do the sausage. This is a northern sausage. 
Now, originally, my wife said that things it's she, th she said that it's, it's not. gonna be hot. So we're gonna try this right here. Okay, we're gonna try the whole thing. Mmm. It's good. It has that tangy, tangy sour. Mm -hmm. Man, it's not. It's not like spoiled sour, right? Mm -hmm. You know how in Vietnam there's a there's a there's a there's a name. food they call name, okay? And then again, it's a. This one's similar to that. I right? think this is like similar to it, and it's. Yeah, this is in Vietnam. Oh, you know what's that? What, what is that? What is that? Nam Nam Nu? Mm. Yeah. I actually like this one better than the Vietnamese Nam Nu. I actually like this better than Vietnamese Nam Nu. Okay. So, and lastly, we're going to try this. The fried pork ribs. This one kind of, the reason I want this is because it reminds me of a dish that we had back in Houston from a giant restaurant called salt and pepper rib. It's very tasty. So, I'm gonna try this one right here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, this one right here, they they they, they uh, season it with with salt, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of like salt and pepper, like the one that we have in Houston, but it's more deep fried. Yes or no? But surely you do fish sauce in there? Huh? But surely they. Have fish sauce in here. What about the one in, in Houston? Do they use fish sauce, you think? No? I think in Houston it's better. Yeah, Houston is better because the batter, mm -hmm. they use a batter on top of this. This one we expect as a batter, but there isn't. They, I don't think they use any batter at all it's on this pork. They just deep fry it, that's it. So it's a, a bit dry, but the one in Houston, they actually put a batter on top of that. So that's all the, this whole dinner, what? How much I, it cost me? I forgot. You say four hundred baht? Oh, over four hundred dollars, a little bit over four hundred dollars. Plus, plus uh, four hundred tip, uh, four hundred baht plus t we we put tip in it. Uh, I hope this video will give you the courage to take a step forward and explore your dream and aspiration.